इस घट अंतर बाग बगीचे इसी में सिर जनहारा इस घट अंतर सात समंदर इसी में नौ लखतारा इस घट अंतर पारस मोती इसी में परखन हारा इस घट अंतर अनहद गर्जे इसी में उठत फुवारा कहत कबीर सुनो भाई साधो इसी में साई हमारा इसी में साई हमारा Pottery is Turko Persian in origin but today it is widely known as one of the distinctive crafts of Jaipur Decades ago Maharaja Sawai Ram Singh ji invited two artisans to settle in Jaipur and from there on we were introduced to the treasured craft After enjoying been an adornment at the palaces soon the craft was phasing off as a result of economic and social upheavals the stagnation in the growth was due to the less interest in sharing of skills amongst the craftsmen and low product developmental skills with a handful of buyers and sellers the craft was becoming a thing of past a very important link between the two centuries who had immense knowledge of blue pottery was nathi bai maharani gayatri devi shri kripal singh ji and leela bodia were amongst the few who worked as saviors for the craft blue pottery it derives its name from the prominent blue and white colors that were prevalent earlier and most commonly used the cobalt oxide and copper oxide used has been more dominant as compared to the use of green pink red yellow brown and more which are an option today some interesting facts about blue pottery are there are only two countries in the world which make pottery straight out of quartz powder blue pottery is made out of quartz powder and so turkey and india are the only ones who are able to keep up with making pottery out of this exquisite form it is low temperature fired It is fired only once after the glazing has been completed. The colors used are oxidized colors and the vibrancy of each piece is a beautiful sight. It has received a GI certificate. Each piece is a masterpiece. Each piece is made from the scratch by hand and has its own individuality so to speak. No two pieces will be identical even if they are made by the same craftsman. The time to produce one piece is the same as that to produce 100. The bigger the pieces in pottery, the more the chances of breakage. Success rate is 1 out of 10. Leela Bodia, born and brought up in Calcutta, she saw a noble cause to every person's being. Her mother accompanied Mother Teresa at work, which little Leela realized later was known as social service. From the incline that she had taken as a kid, She took to helping the underprivileged even after getting married in Jaipur. Only in search of a cause, she stumbled across this craft and saw the dilapidated state it was in and decided to help but not by raising funds for them 
but by doing something for the craft. Like many others who have been inspired by John and faith of Anoki, Leela looked up to them for the way they always helped by giving work to the craftsmen. The first order that she got was through Anoki and it was not only a challenge but also the faith that people had in her of her conviction that saw her through. It started off with one craftsman who was willing to change and do things differently and there was no looking back. Vision, mission and action are empty words if not put to use together. A go-getter would always see the positive in every situation and for such, sky is the limit. CBSC has included Leela Bodia as a case study in the curriculum of 11th grade in the subject of entrepreneurship. Australia has also included her as a case study in a compulsory subject. People from all walks of life come to listen to her talk about her venture from all around the globe on a regular basis. With no prior degree in designing, she is an exemplary example of versatility. Soon after learning about the existence of the craft, she travelled to Mexico to learn in depth about the characteristics of pottery. Though it was not blue pottery, but the knowledge she gained was immense. She has travelled to many countries from time to time to take inspiration in various forms and apply it in her own way to enhance the jurisdiction of blue pottery. Even with the slight nuances and potteries from the world, she can say one from the other. She has always from the beginning given her input on the shape and designs of the products and that has been a God gift. Till date, she is the creator of the many avatars of blue pottery. When in Rome, do as the Romans do is one of her ideologies. Belief. It has been her belief that has made her achieve her goals with the ability to motivate others. Nidra International INC Nidra International dates back to 1978. The company has adopted four villages around Jaipur and supports the livelihood of the craftsmen by being the bridge between the buyers and them. The village has a school of its own and the children go to school in the morning and once they are back they entertain themselves by brushing their hands on some products. Not only has the color palette varied, but also the company has made many innovations. The first and the most prominent being beads and knobs. The company offers over 500 products in more than 100 designs. Continual R&D is done to keep upbeat with the market needs and demand. Novel and innovative ideas for blue pottery objects are the USP of Nidra International. From the time that she braved into a new venture, she was always talked about nationally and internationally. She has been invited by many countries like Sweden, France, Switzerland, Japan and America to give a talk about the craft and her journey along with the display at their illustrious locations.
Now it is our social responsibility to save the craft and cherish it. Let's be proud of who we are and what we have.